Hi guys, Martin here coming to you with my January, February 2017 channel update. First update for the new year. So firstly I want to say I hope everybody had a great Christmas and they got some good styrene goodies. I had one gift, a uh, styrene related goodie. I also had two deliveries Christmas Eve, unexpected Christmas Eve deliveries. Um, one was a package of modeling supplies that I ordered, I'll talk about those later. Another was something from a fellow modeler in England, and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, it's now Monday, January the 2nd, 11.22 in the morning here on the east coast of the USA. So we're already in the new year. And uh, So where, what did I do last year and what am I going to do from here on? So last year, with the move to the house, I only managed to get three builds done at the beginning of the year, up to April the 18th and then I went six months without building anything and I still hadn't got my man cave um, built and still don't so um, after getting some withdrawals I decided the only option I have is to brush paint here at the uh, dining table so I did that and I managed to get three 170 second scale aircraft completed and a 130 second scale Bobby Artman, Eric Bobby Artman figure painted to go with my um, Smith BF109 G10 Earl that I built last year. Uh, so I've got seven completed builds and I'm uh, almost, well I'll be done the eighth one by the end of this week. I'm going to count it into 2016 builds because I'd gotten to this stage two weeks ago, all built and primed. She just needs pre-shading, painting, decaling, weathering. Should have that all done by the end of the week. The wife goes back to work tomorrow, so I'll be on this tomorrow. Uh, now, I couldn't finish it because I didn't have three of the four paint colours. I only had the tan for the Southeast Asian camo. I didn't have the grey or the two upper greens, so I had to order those, and I ordered those December 15th, and they arrived on... Uh, Christmas Eve. I also didn't have the decals and uh, so I went on Facebook asking around if anybody had some and I got a response from Rob Basic Modeling if you don't know him he's probably one of the originals if not the original uh, YouTube modeler he's had his channel for eight years nearly nine years now check him out his link is down below Rob Basic Modeling he contacted me, he said he had two sheets of decals for this particular matchbox model and he sent me the decals for the Southeast Asian version which I'm doing. Here's the package, I'm not showing you the front because of addresses, his address and my address, um, but I'll cover them up. British Mail, Royal Mail. Packed it, packaged nicely, so thanks Rob, I got those safe and sound. I did. Um, I did contact you on Facebook to send you pictures to let you know I got them safe and sound. So now I can complete that build. It will be wrapped up by the end of this week, I imagine. And then I'll be moving forward with other things for this year, other plans I've got to do. But first, what did I get for Christmas? I got one uh, model for Christmas. Don't need any more. I've got about 90 in the stash. So, and I prefer to just build one at a time instead of, you know, having lots of builds going at the same time. Um, now this kit that my wife bought me for Christmas, it's the same kit except for the size, the scale that I bought for Freddy Fernando Duarte uh, as a thank you gift when he sent me a lot of kits. It's a Dragon model under the Wintech Cyber Hobby banner um, and it's another German kit. Uh, I got really got into doing Luftwaffe aircraft last year, did five uh, last year, meaning 2015-16. I did five large scale uh, Luftwaffe aircraft, really enjoyed doing them. And this kit I do not have, I've not built one of these models before, this version of aircraft. And it's the BF 110E2 Tropical. I haven't done a tropical colour scheme. This kit offers three different trop tropical schemes, markings. It's the 148th version, the one I bought 
for Freddy was the 132 scale kit, a lot bigger. This kit comes with a nice photo etch fret, so that'll be my first time doing any photo etch. And uh, it looks gorgeous, I've opened it up, the mouldings look crisp, clean, nice fine recess panel lines, can't wait to do it. So that will be one of my builds this year, but not the first. I'm going to be talking about the first few builds in a minute. So that was my Christmas gift, really love it. Uh, so, back to the Voodoo, completing that. I told you I got the paints, here they are. There's the medium green, there's the dark green, and there's the uh, light camouflage grey for the underside. So I have my paints, I have my decals, thanks for Rob, so I'm all set to complete that. Now, um, my first build, after the Voodoo for 2017 is going to be part of a group build that's being hosted by Ian of UK Scale Modeler. Check out his channel link down below if you're not subscribed to him. It's a MIG group build, any kind of MIG, any kind of scale. If you want to join in, contact Ian through his UK Scale Modeler YouTube page, send him a video of what you intend to build. Um, showing that it's an unstarted kit, it's all fresh unstarted sprues and join in, more the merrier. Uh, so after that voodoo, like I said, I'm going to be building this MiG-29 Fulcrum. And this is a kit that Freddie sent me last year. It's an Azigal kit, looks nice. I'll quickly show you inside the box that it's all unstarted. You should be able to see that at that angle. It's all clean sprues, ready to start. There's the upper fuse, large part. And the lower fuse, large, etc. So, Ian, that's my kit, mate. The MiG 29 Fulcrum 172 scale by Azzy Gower. Kindly gifted to me by Freddy Fernando Duarte. So, thanks again, Freddy. After that, I've also, uh, I'm going to be starting a buddy build with Torsten Schumacher. Torsten has a Facebook page, modeling page. It's called USAF, US Air Force Scale Modeling. Uh, if you're not a member of that and you're on Facebook, check it out, go and join in. But if you want to join in on this buddy build, I'm going to be hosting it. It's called the 410 Buddy Build. I'll do an official announcement video and uh, what it is, the 410 body build, it's a Messerschmitt 410 body build. Torsten has one, I have one. As I just said, I love building Luftwaffe aircraft, really got into them. I haven't built a 410, so I wanna build one. Now I'm gonna be building this one, the ME410B-2 stroke U4. This is another kit that was sent to me by Freda, so thanks again, Freda. That's the one I intend to build. I'll do an official announcement, as I said. But Torsten, I have my 410. I'm ready to build with you in the body build. Everyone else watching this video, if you want to join in with this body build, when I officially announce it, it's going to start in March. It'll run for three months. And uh, you're more than welcome to join in with us. The 410 body build. So that'll be, that'll be my second build of 2017. Uh, I also plan to do um, a couple more jets. I did the four, four 172 jets brush painted. I plan to do two more. This is all going to be brush painted until I get my uh, man cave set up. Uh, the man cave, uh, we did make a start on it. My wife and her son built a portable on wheels uh, shelf system, stainless steel shelf system. and. Uh, I emptied all my boxes in the room that's going to be my man cave, took all the models out, put them on that shelf system. So I've made a start. I'm going to show you pictures of that now showing the empty boxes outside of the room and then some photographs uh, from different angles around the room. So you can see that it, it's, it's cluttered, it's a mess, got to clear it out, it's got to be repainted, got to be recarpeted and then I've got to design my layout and set it all up. But we've made a start. I've uh, got shelf system. That'll be moved out and it'll be outside of the room because I intend to put desks all the way around, table surface all the way around. But here's a few pictures of that, guys, so 
have a look where I'm at at the moment and I have I want to get this all done by the end of March and then I'll be back to airbrushing so here we go so guys here we are in the basement and this pile of boxes is what contained all my uh, model kits so as you can see I've emptied my model kits out of the packing boxes so I've made a start big basement down here like 1100 square feet of total area that's going to be converted into a family suite and then this was a room that existed when we bought the house uh, you see the door there I've got the lights on in there and this is where the gentleman that lived here before me his name was Howard still has the H on the door used as his office and playing crib with his uh, friends and bridge and we walk inside this room is uh, 14 feet square. There's the shelving system that my wife put together with her son. Stainless steel system, it's on um, wheels. I'm planning to put that out here, just here against this wall here. It'll be stored there. Um, and I'm just gonna scan round and close the door so you can see. As you can see, it's cluttered. There's an old light there that he used, that's where he had his card table underneath that light, just there. So I've got my modelling table there, that's what I used at the old place. Uh, he, he's got some old shelving up here, he's got some chair rail, it's called dado rail in England, it's all pink. It's all got to be ripped out and then I've got to repaint this place. Uh, there's me computer desk. I'm going to be setting up a workstation in there because I plan to do some engineering work, consultancy work, part time, just to bring in a few dollars. I haven't worked for three and a half years and I'm missing the challenges of engineering. So I plan to do that going forward as well. But um, as you can see, this is where I'm at at the moment. Shitty carpet on the floor, that's all got to be ripped out, repainted, Recarpeted, rip out the old woodwork, make it look fresh and clean, and uh, and then plan how I'm going to lay out all my work surface area all the way out to put in an airbrush station and um, uh, include my engineering workstation, my workbench for modelling, etc. etc. So that's it, guys. This is the space I've got. It's 14 feet square, so it's a big room. It might even be 15 feet. I haven't really checked it. I pasted it out. And it's five paces each way. Alright, so that's it. Nice big space for me to create as a modelling den. There will be uh, shelving units in here for storing models and as well finished models. So I'm going to leave this. I'm going to turn the light off. And before it goes dark on you guys, I'm going to say... Talio, chocks away and let's move on with the rest of the video. Bye bye. So that's it guys, there are the photographs of where I'm at with the hobby room. And uh, the, uh, the brush painting, the third model that I want to brush paint before that's all done, is going to be another jet, an F-16 Falcon. Hi Talera. There's three 172 scale kits in this box. That's why there's an Italeri box lid cut out stuck on top of the um, Academy box art. But there's three 172 scale kits. Again, these three were sent to me by Freddy Fernando Duarte a year, year and a half ago. Um, and I'm looking forward to doing another jet. So that would be my third build of the year. All right. So we've talked about what I got for Christmas, we talked about my builds, next few builds for this year, and I'll show you the gift package I got from that I ordered myself for modeling supplies. Now what I did, I um, one of the last builds of 2016 was a 132nd scale figure of Bobby Artman. Here we go, standing next to his model, uh, BF109 G10. And after doing that, I thought, I want to put him on a diorama base. 
I've not made a diorama yet. I had all intentions of doing one for the Arado and never got around to it because of this house. Um, so I ordered some supplies which came on Christmas Eve morning. And I want to put BF109 G10 and Bobby Hartman onto a base. So to build a um, diorama you need mud and you need grass and you need other things. So I, I got a 32 ounce shaker bottle from Woodland Scenics of mud. I got some fine turf, some nice fine green grass to sprinkle on. I got some static grass flop, more coarse grass. I got some glare from the window in front of me, so I apologise for that. I also bought some tufts of grass, 50 pieces of 10 millimeter tufts. So set up for scenery. Um, without cement, you can't sprinkle that and glue it to your base. So I've got some scenic cement. It's a bottle. Um, I've got a spray attachment and you spray it on, sprinkle your stuff, then spray back over it to seal it. So I have the hose attachment if I didn't say that already. I also want to do some little puddles and things so I've got a bottle of water effects. I'm going to try that out. This is all new to me, never done a diorama so I'm excited to do it. Also Luftwaffe aircraft sat on like wooden log bases so I bought a pack of wooden sticks I can chop these up to size and um, create my wooden base. I can create some little fencing as well if I want. So set for the wooden base to sit the aircraft and bubby on. But I thought he's going to be alone with his aircraft. I need something more. So I've ordered a Verlinden kit. It's got three figures in. A pilot with a, a kettle pouring hot water into a mug or coffee straight out of that kettle. It's got two mechanics. It's got a BF109 engine with some of those engine pieces laying around. It's got a bench with a vice toolkit, tools laying around, oil cans, etc. So I've got some figures and some nice things to put into that diorama and make it look a little more realistic. I'm excited. I also bought another set of stuff. This is 135 scale though, that was all 132. And this is a Tamiya kit. This was cheap, it was only $6. And it's a German fuel drum set, 135th scale. Uh, comes with a couple of figures as well. One roll in a can of oil, drum of oil, one pump in. And uh, so as you can see, it's got oil drums, canisters, pumps, and two figures. I'm looking forward to using it, putting some of that into the diorama as well. On top of that, in the supplies, I needed tape. I got uh, two 10 millimeters. I was completely out of the 10 millimeter. I got one 18 millimeter. Already had one 18 millimeter, and I already have two 6 millimeter tapes, so I'm good for that. I got more Zappa Gap glue. I love using CA glue. Good stuff. I always apply it with the point of a cocktail stick. Tip a some in. Make a little puddle on some foil. Dip my cocktail stick in and touch the surfaces that I intend to glue together. I use it for cockpits, I'm not recommending it, but again I carefully do it. Hold the cockpit canopy for 10-15 seconds and push in place and uh, it sets within another 15-20 seconds. Uh, I ordered more paints. Uh, as you saw, I intend to do this. Well, I checked what paints are needed. I didn't have any of those paints, so I ordered those. So I got um, the flat gull grey, all model masters, I love using model masters, a light ghost grey, a dark ghost grey, a dark ghoul grey, and a gunship grey. All colours are neat for modern US Air Force jets. And I also got um, leather. I've been mixing my leather paints. I always use reds, browns, and blacks, yellow, mix them up to make leathery looking colors. So I decided to just buy a bottle of leather and I can tone it in any way I want to, to add shading 
within that level. So that's level again, model masters. They're great for brush painting and because I'm brush painting, um, I'm using a lot of model master stuff. Uh, thin it down nicely and it flows nicely. Um, and then let it dry and then do another coat, build up in thin coats. Also when I'm painting, there's three colors I use a lot of. I use a lot of black, so XF1, uh, flat black, Tamiya. I use this interior cockpits for, uh, as a base coat, and uh, then I'll airbrush the interior colors. Well, now I'm brush painting, uh, and allow some of this to come through to provide shading, pre-shading sort of. So I use a lot of black, and I use it for mixing with other colors to create darker tones. I also got white, I use a ton of white, the XF2 flat white Tamiya. Again, I use this to tone down paints. I never use paint straight from a bottle, always tone it down for scale effect, excuse me. And, uh, and then when that's been laid down onto the aircraft, I then add more white to tone it down even further and then put on paint on some highlights. So I use white a lot. Also silver, chrome silver, X11. I'll put this on the body of the aircraft where I want to do chipping and then I'll put a gloss varnish over it. Then I'll spray, air, spray over that gloss varnish. Then I'll apply the main colours on top of the air spray. I'll let it uh, dry a little bit. Then I'll use water. Just brush on spots of water where I want the paint to peel. It'll reactivate the air spray. Then I'll use the tip of a toothpick and just scrape the paint off to create the chipping. And then this silver shows through your top paint. So that's what I use silver for, apart from using it where I want natural metal finishes. So there are the paints I got. So I'm all set for doing four aircraft from here on. Finish off the RF-101B Voodoo, Southeast Asian Camo Colors is first. Then I'm doing the uh, group build, MIG group build with UK Scale Modeler. Then I'll be doing the body build, the 410 body build with Torsten Schumacher. And anybody else can join into this group build and this body build. And then I'll be doing the F-16 Falcon as my fourth build for this year. But as I said earlier, what this, it was started and that's where I got to two weeks ago. This will be my last build of 2016. I will then do a video showing a portfolio of my eight builds for 2016. Not a lot did move into house, been busy. But once I'm set up, hopefully by the end of March, that's what I'm pushing for with my new man cave. I'll be doing a lot of airbrushed models for the rest of the year. So lots happening, lots of busyness for me. I'm looking forward to starting tomorrow when my wife's back at work. She's just gone over to her daughter, so I'm making the most of this free time to do this video update. So guys, that's it out from me. I'm going to get on with editing this video and uploading it to YouTube. And uh, I'm looking forward to modelling for this year. Yeah, baby. My first diorama coming up sometime. So have a great year guys, all the best. Um, hope it's a great modeling year for everyone. So tallyo guys, chocks away, I'm out. Hi guys, Martin here coming to you with my January, February 2017 and I still hadn't got my man cave um, built and still don't so um, after getting some withdrawals I decided the only option I have is to brush paint here at the uh, dining table so I did that and I managed to get three 170 second scale aircraft completed and a 130 second scale Bubby Artman, Eric Bubby Artman figure painted to go with my um, 
Meshith Smith channel update, first update for the new year. So firstly I want to say I hope everybody had a great Christmas and they got some good styrene goodies. I had one gift, a uh, styrene related goodie. I also had two deliveries Christmas Eve, unexpected Christmas Eve deliveries. Um, one was a package of modeling supplies that I ordered, I'll talk about those later. Another was something from a fellow modeler in England and I'll show you that in a moment. Um, it's now Monday, January the 2nd, 11.22 in the morning here on the east coast of the USA. So we're already in the new year. And uh, So where, what did I do last year and what am I going to do from here on? So last year, with the move to the house, I only managed to get three builds done at the beginning of the year, up to April the 18th. And then I went six months without building anything at BF109 G10 earlier that I built last year. Uh, so I've got seven completed builds and I'm uh, almost, well I'll be done the eighth one by the end of this week. I'm going to count it into 2016 builds because I'd gotten to this stage two weeks ago, all built and primed. She just needs pre-shading, painting, decaling, weathering. Should have that all done by.